my last couple minutes here, there's just one little thing I want to cover. Like I said, we're not covering UV unwrapping, so we're not going to cover the proper way to apply textures to objects. Um, but there are there is a shortcut kind of way that you can still use it. So what I've done here is I've applied this paver texture to a cylinder. And you can see uh, the top of the cylinder looks pretty good. The sides of the cylinder are all distorted and weird, and, and it's not, not something that you're going to want to see. Now, I've applied this to the color uh, attribute of a uh, Pixar shader. But you could also, is the same applies if this was the bump or any other texture. Um, but the goal is to not have this be stretched out. Now, this is a simple shape. But as you get more complex, it can things can still apply. So I'm going to go to uh, UV, and then I've got the, these four mapping. Actually, there's more than four mapping options. Um, but I've got these mapping options. So cylindrical, planar, spherical, automatic um, are all different options that you can play with to try to see what, what gives you the best results. Um, if I click cylindrical, you can see it makes the sides look great, but the tops are super distorted and we don't want that so we can also try planar planar is is based on just this one plane so this little widget that pops up is what it's using to adjust that so you can see as you manipulate that it will manipulate how the texture is applied there's spherical now obviously based on whatever your object shape is closest to is going to give you different differing results. Um, there's automatic, which will basically do like a cube projection, but we're still going to have some distortion. Although that actually does a not a bad job. Um, but you can also, if we take UVs, and we'll do like a we'll go back to the cylindrical projection. Again, that looks great on the sides, but it's the tops that that don't look great. So what I'm going to do is go into face mode, and I'm going to select just the top faces. I know there's a fast way to do this. I'm just being stubborn. All right. And I'm going to go to UV, and I'm going to planar map just the top faces. Oops. I need to do this. I just remembered. I'm going to undo that. I need to be in the top view for this. So top view. Actually, I don't have to be in the top view. I just have to go to the, the settings and tell it to map it from the y-axis, which is the vertical one. Click apply, close, and it's dark because of the view, so I'm going to go here. Okay, so now the top looks great. Okay, and you can do the same thing from the bottom. So you can kind of play around with those options to get things closer. Obviously, the more complicated an object is, the trickier this becomes. So let's see if I can in the last three minutes... Um, let's try opening up a little bit of the space kid. Don't say. Look, okay, okay. So here's the thing I did a couple of semesters ago. You'll probably see the videos on my YouTube. Um, okay, so we've got this boot, and I'm going to render selected objects only, which is good. And if I go to my, okay, so the color. Let's go with like a checker so we know what a checker pattern is supposed to look like we can see that it obviously doesn't look like it it's, it's distorted so let's try this we can try cylindrical that looks all right on the ankles but the top of the, the feet don't look great we can try automatic which isn't horrendous but it's much larger uh, we can try best plane texturing tool I'm actually not familiar with this one but I don't think that's really doing it. You know, and again, you can manipulate these as you go. You try spherical. And it looks like the best in this situation, again, without doing this properly, uh, is going to be cylindrical. And then we can take, you know, these more prominent faces here and do a planar map. And then if we want to match sizes, which generally we do, uh, we can 
Oh, scale that up a little bit. Okay. And this is these are the rough ways to, to do this without getting too into the weeds here. Um, but you'll probably run into that as you're applying textures. You'll have a seam that just bothers you. Usually a couple of things you can do to, to get out of the way. Um, alternately, you know, I've got some, I've got videos on, on my YouTube about, uh, if we go to my channel, <clears throat> excuse me, cannot talk. Oh, I guess we got to stay. Let's go here and then we go to here. No, nope, that's not where we go. We go to video manager, maybe. I swear I know how to use YouTube. There we go. So here's all my videos. Uh, I've got a playlist. And if you go to like last semester's advanced and we look at UVs, okay, that's three half hour videos. But if you're really desperate to go really take this texturing thing a lot further, you are certainly welcome to. Um, the information is there and also a short Google search away. So um, that's it. Happy texturing.